Don't confuse brains with a bull market. There was nothing smart about what Kathy Wood was doing. This is going to be Chinese water torture for investors. If you bet on Carnival, you're sinking like the Titanic. The stock, the stock is down, down 90%. 90%. 90%. 90%. If you bet on Carnival, you're sinking like the Titanic. The stock is down 90%. This is going to be Chinese water torture for investors. People can't afford to buy Nike sneakers because they don't have any money. Because all those Peloton bikes were going to end up being clothes racks in people's bedrooms. The problem isn't the products. The problem is the consumer. The consumer is broke. We could get a bear market rally if we get a Fed pivot. Talk about closing the bar doors after the horses are gone. You can't even see the horses anymore. You can't even see the horses anymore. Talk about closing the bar doors after the horses are gone. You can't even see the horses anymore. This is going to be Chinese water torture for investors. People can't afford to buy Nike sneakers. You're sinking like the Titanic. You're sinking like the Titanic. You're sinking like the Titanic. Sinking like the Titanic. You can't even see the horses anymore. Clothes racks in people's bedrooms. You're sinking like the Titanic. You can't even see the horses anymore. You have no assets. You've got no revenues. You've got no customers. <laughs> I mean, I could recreate your entire business from scratch myself for next to nothing. If you figure what the average Californian expected to earn on house appreciation, it exceeded what he expected to earn from his job. It became the fact that, well, if you have a house, you don't need a job. Don't confuse brains with a bull market. The government solution is high, high prices but low mortgage payments subsidized by the government. The free market solution is low prices. Because if real estate prices go down, you don't need to borrow that much money to buy a house. But the government still looks at the problem that home prices are falling. That's, that's the solution. The problem is that they went up. The whole country was drunk. The Fed got everybody drunk. I said, we shouldn't have put Bernie Madoff in jail. We should have made him the Secretary of the Treasury. <laughs> and... He's got credibility about one thing, right? Ponzi scheme. <laughs> I mean, he, he knows a Ponzi scheme when he sees one. Right? Bankruptcy is a good thing. It's the way the market cleanses the economy of companies that shouldn't be there. They are not effectively utilizing resources. Those resources need to be freed up. We need to free them up so that we can use them productively. You know, they say, oh, we can't let General Motors go bankrupt because some auto workers will be un out of unemployed. Well, I mean, we don't want work just so we can have a job. We want work because we can produce something. We want the value. But we work because we want stuff, not because we want to work. So just to preserve jobs doesn't make any sense if they're not productive, if they're not efficient.